Hi guys, my name is Gavin and this will be a tutorial on how to make a load screen and it's actually going to load information in the background that we saved from previous files. Um, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off like in my other um, tutorials on saving game info, let's right click in the middle of the screen and create a new folder to store all our, um, our files in. Let's just call this folder load screen and let's say blender like that. So that's going to be our file for the day. Let's double click on it and then right inside of our load screen folder, let's right click, new, let's do text document, and let's do player ammo, like that. And let's double click on it and inside of it for the variable, let's put ammo as something like 5 like this and do file and save. Let's then right click and make a new text file again, so text document name it as player health and open it up and let's put it as like let's say like 67 and do file and save and let's right click and do a new text document and let's make this player points like that double click on it to open it and let's put let's say 856 or something like that or 756 something that would seem reasonable for points and file and save you can see that if we have all these variables here, they've all got something inside of them. Alright, next, let's open up a Blender project, and let's immediately save it to that same folder. So save it to the load screen folder, and I'll just call this Blender Project. Like that, and hit save. And if we go back into our folder, we should see Blender Project is now inside of our folder. That works out well. Alright, I've actually got, um the code right here on the side in case you guys need it. I'll expand it up. Alright, now what we're going to actually do is make it so that we can access those files from Blender. Um, so let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender render to Blender game. I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to add three game properties first. These three game properties are going to represent our um, three files we're going to name them, and we're, they're all going to be integer, and they're going to be named after um, the stuff that, um, like the ammo, health, and the points. So ammo is going to be first, ammo, health will be second, and points will be third. Points like that. All right, let, let's now create a text object, so um, or text block. So let's do text, and then create text. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And let's rename this to load scripts.py. So that's the new name of our script. Now at the top, let's import the BGE really quick. So import the BGE. And then um, from the BGE, let's import logic. So from BGE, import logic. Next, what we're going to do is we actually want to make it so that we can um, um, Go outside of Blender and actually access files. So let's do path is going to equal logic.expand path like that. And since we're not actually saving information, we're just loading it, let's define load like this. All right, hold on, I just want to make sure. All right, that works. Now what we're going to do is just um, get, the scene, um, get the current controller and the owner into the script by doing const is going to equal bg.logic.get current controller like that let's have own is going to equal const owner like that all right now what we're going to do is access the ammo file so let's do i'm just going to do hashtag ammo that just creates a note so the computer doesn't actually read it it just recognizes that as a note now let's have the player ammo variable is going to be equal to open and then path and let's have player ammo dot, dot txt and so we just want to be able to read it, so just put an R right there. And this is going to make it so that we can, um, this player ammo variable is just going to be pretty much what is in um, the, um, well, it's just going to pretty much open up the player ammo.txt. Then what we're going to do is have a variable player ammo info is going to be equal to player ammo.readline. So it's just going to read what's inside of our um, player ammo text file, and that's, what this, that's what's going to be stored inside that variable. Then we're going to have own ammo is going to equal an integer of player ammo info, like that. Now, if we go down here, we're actually just going to um, check to make sure this works. 
let's add an always sensor and let's add a controller in Python right here and connect these. We just want it to run that one function. So let's do load scripts dot load and make sure that you have modules selected right here. And if we hit P to play now, we should see actually, I'm gonna hit um, I, I, and I, then do game and then show debug properties. And then the top left corner, it'll show up up here. And we see that for ammo, it now says five. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the health into our game. So health like this. Let's have the player health variable. I'll actually drag this out just a little bit more. Scroll up. Is going to be equal to open path and player health.txt. And we want to read what's inside of it. So let's put just R. Then we're going to have another um, variable, player health info, is going to be equal to um, player health.read line, like that. And we're going to have own health is going to be equal to an integer of player health info, like this. So if we go out, we should see there is now a number 67 by player health. That's good. All right, next what we want to do is actually access the points. So let's do the exact same thing. Player, um, actually I'll just put points like that. Let's have a variable player points is going to be equal to open path plus, and let's do player points.txt. I want to be able to just read it. So let's just put the R right there to make it readable. Let's have player points info is going to be equal to player points dot read line. So essentially just reading what's inside of there. And let's have own points is going to equal an integer of player points dot um, player points info. Sorry. Now if we if we hit play now or if we hit P to play, we should see there is a number 756 by points. Now what we're going to do now is once what happens normally when you're loading information is once you're um, once you have successfully loaded everything you're going to send a message to get rid of whatever loading screens or stuff like that that you have set up so i'm just going to do um sends message to get rid of loading screen sends message like that and we're going to do own dot send message and what we're going to do is um close load to indicate Actually, let's do close screen. That'll make more sense. Close screen. And when we send this message, it's going to send it to, um, essentially what we're going to do now is send it, and it's going to call something which is going to close the um, overlaying scene that we're going to add. So now that we know this works, I'm going to full screen this now. Now that we know this works, I'm going to hit this plus sign at the top and add a new scene. Hit 7 to go in the top view, and do space bar, and then add, and let's say... Um, text objects, or actually camera first. Add a camera. I'm going to drag this up. Hit zero to go into camera view. And hit spacebar and then add a text object. So we're going to add a text object. Drag this down and drag this over here. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode and backspace. And let's just type out loading like that, hit tab to go back into object mode, and hit alt and C and convert it to a mesh, so it's now an object within our script. Now I'm just gonna, um, it's now an object within our game, and I'm just gonna add a plane to add a background, SX, SY, scaled up, pretty much just making a simple loading screen like this. I'm actually just gonna add a quick color to it. Just something that'll indicate it's a loading screen like this, like that. Not a very good one, but it'll work. Now what we're going to do is add a script to our camera, like this. So we're going to do templates, Python, and game logic simple, and create a script for our camera like this. Just delete the portion that I've highlighted right here. And for the script name, let's call it loading screen. Then something like script at the end of it.py. And I'm going to add that onto this camera. Add a sensor always. 
click the first three dots and add a sensor and let's have message right here and let's have um close click tap and whatever message we sent on our load scripts the close screen we're going to add that right here like that now it's not going to be quite as simple as it sounds but we're just going to add the python controller like this and connect these and inside of our script let's add the loading screen script like this now what we're going to do is actually add a boolean operator property that's um, an integer property sorry in the boolean operator this um, this integer one we'll call it time we'll set it to 50 and for the boolean we'll call it close and let's keep it unclicked to be false and click these eyes right here so click the two eyes now what normally happens in a game is when all the information loads there's usually a slight delay to make sure that everything loads fine so that's what we're going to do right here because if it were to load immediately on finishing there really there'd be almost no delay because we're only using a couple numbers so it'd load really fast so at the we're now going to add an actuator let's have a scene one and let's change it to remove scene and we'll put scene point oh oh one or i'll just call it load screen so this is our load screen right here and i'll call the actuator close screen like that and i'll connect it right here all right this might this is i know this is kind of confusing but just stay with me it's it'll get better so what we're going to do first is define this close sensor by doing close is going to equal constant sensors close like that now let's define our close screen actuator so close screen is going to be contact actuators close screen all right now that we got that we want to have it so that if we get the message close or if um well well so that indicate um if we get the message close it indicates the script has ended so let's have if um close dot positive i'll actually rename this um boolean operator as um remove how about that so the boolean operator we've renamed to remove just to make it um easier to understand compared to this close right here so if the message close is positive own remove is equal to true like that actually true with a capital t true okay now what we're going to do is have if own remove is equal to true like that's and own time is greater than zero we're going to have own time and minus equal one and what we're going to do is have if own time is less than or equal to zero indicating that we've run out of time we're just going to const activates close screen or essentially removing the loading screen like that so it's just going to remove the loading screen i know this is kind of a more complicated tutorial but this is kind of how i do it so yeah Let's now go back into our main scene right here, though. And let's right click on our camera. And let's add a sensor always. Like that. And let's add an actuator and let's have it be seen. And add an overlay scene. And let's just have load screen. And connect these. Make sure, though, that this is not highlighted. Make sure this these are all empty because, um... Otherwise, it would just automatically keep adding the load screen again because it would just run every time. If we hit play now, we can see that's actually, let me just check the console really quick. I think there's an error. Nope, let me go back into my other scene. Load screen, message close. Oh, huh. just trying to check out something really quick. So if on time is if on remove is equal to true. Oh, take out this double equal right here. Okay, 
So make sure that this is not a double equal, that it's just a single equal sign. So now if we go back into our scene and hit play, we can see that once the game's, um, once all the information is loaded, it'll send a message and it will delete the scene. If we hit zero, we can see that there's the loading screen and that cube is still in the background. Alright guys, I know this is more of a complex tutorial, but I really hope this helps you out. This is not typically a tutorial I do because it is multiple parts and it's rather long as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys could understand that. That was not really a tutorial I was planning on doing, but I do feel like it'll be, it'll help out people. So yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.